Remember, silly putty, that thick elastic lump of goop that you could stretch and squash every which way? For most of us, it's a fond childhood memory. But silly putty is more than just a fun toy for some. Its unique physical properties are similar to something known as a boger fluid. And while you may not have heard of it, this odd class of materials is part of a field of science called rheology. Inside Science Rheology is the study of the flow and distortion of materials. Professor David Boger came into rheology during a challenging but exciting time in the field. Researchers were trying to measure polymers, which include a wide range of things from DNA to proteins to all kinds of plastics. So we naively believed we could build a fluid that was simple enough that you could use to do experiments and that turned out to be the Boger fluid, which is a constant viscosity elastic liquid. Boger fluids are odd. Pull them apart slowly and they're elastic, but pull them apart too fast and they stiff up like a solid and can break. Well, they behave a bit like a rubber band. In fact, one of these fluids you could put in a container on the ground and you can grab it. And if you uh, uh, move it quickly, you can actually lift the container off the ground. And if you move it slowly, it behaves like a liquid. It's a bit like silly putty. Boger fluids also had impacts across industries. They help design pesticides that stick better to leaves instead of dripping down to the ground. In terms of uh, delivery of an agricultural chemical where the drop hits the leaf, which is hydrophobic, and bounces off, and uh, that's not good if you're delivering a, a herbicide, for example. But with the right sort of additives, which in fact are viscoelastic fluids, you'll then see the drop will hit it and go boom and it won't bounce off, believe it or not. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Business.